Okay, so it's Bank Holiday Sunday and we've made it to Chesterfields. And the reason I look a little bit blurry eyed is because we did Bottleless Brunch yesterday in Nottingham. And I'm a bit hungover. <laughs> Don't you laugh. Not what she's laughing at. Um, uh, but you know, the game must continue. The show must go on, as Freddie Mercury said. So we've made it to Chesterfield. Uh, well, we're going to have Sunday fun day. Yeah? Sunday fun day? We'll see. Can I have Sunday fun day? We'll see, hopefully. We shall see. We'll keep you informed. All right, stop number one then for uh, Sunday fun day is going to be Chandler's Bar. See where the day takes us. So yeah, first drink of the day is, uh, yeah, it's a Moretti, but it's really early. Um, something away on a black fruit or whatever. Uh, this is really cool, this uh, Chandler's Bar. So, uh, it's a bit of a cocktail bar. Uh, really nice, really friendly staff. Really cool little place. Really nice, really nice place to start. It's got that like, swirky deck all. Pictures. Lights. Pretty cool place. It's a very short walk up the road. Brings us to Spoons, Spa Lane Vaults. This is one of, this will be the second Spoons we've done in the town. We did Spoons last time uh, we came on the other side. We started at the other end of town last time, so finding a lot of different stuff at this end. I don't care because I am hanging and I need some food. So, spoons. <laughs> and food more than needed, especially if we're going to get through the rest of today. We got chatting to a really, really lovely old couple in the uh, in the spoons while we were eating that recognise us. They've seen us uh, reviewing their pubs and things before. They told us to be nice. We're always nice. Right, this is a sad sight. It's found one already. The rectory. Said a craft beer and kitchen pub, but nice old pub building that shut down already. So and we've done the rest of it here, the Burlington, Alberts and Apartment. We did all them on our first visit, so we're gonna to have to wander back around the corner to what's it called? The pig and pump. The what? The pig and pump. The pig and pump. <sighs> Sounds like me giving Holly a treat at home. <sighs> on, we, on we go. Here we go then. Next stop. As predicted. Pig and pump. And Holly says she's got a dirty habit, she can see. What is it? A dirty habit. You have got a dirty habit. What dirty habit is this? Drinking. That is a, that is a dirty habit. <laughs> Apparently there's a pub called Dirty Habit. So we'll see that in a minute, I think. This is a good pub. We've got a good selection of stuff. It's dog friendly. There's like quite a few dogs in here. Quite a nice place. Got a good menu. Uh, tapas and normal sort of British burgers and things like that. Decent pub. A uh, little walk there further down the road. There's loads of stuff closed. Bamboo tiki bar, uh, the loop cocktail bar, Aruba. Lots of stuff closed. But we're following our uh, we're following our uh, our ears because we can hear some music. Uh, and we've come to a place called Holly. Armistead. Yeah. Cocktails and ales. I'll have one of each, please. There you go. Armistead's on the corner. Down about as far as you can go on the uh, on the edge, boats things. So this one is definitely the Sunday fun day party pub at the moment. Busy, live singer, all good. Oh. A little bit chaotic in there, uh, and a long time to get served, but that's good, I suppose. It's good to see pubs busy, especially on a bank holiday Sunday. So back up the hill, nice, uh, very nice looking theatre, and we come to uh, the one that Holly was very nice looking forward to, the Dirty Habit. Upon a recommendation. Upon a recommendation, she reckons. Well, we've stumbled into happy hour, and it's always good when you stumble into a happy hour. Nice. So, uh, would have been a cocktail bar, a happy hour pina colada. I had to do it, didn't I? We'll find out together how good it is. Oh yes, I haven't had one all weekend. Obviously, a usual porn star, a porn star for the porn star. Okay, so yeah, so the dirty habit that is absolutely wicked. Lovely, lovely little cocktail bar. It's already up on the TikTok, and right next door is Einstein. So that's where we're going next. Now this looks like, I might be wrong, but this looks like the same people that run, I think it's called Tap House something in Mansfield Woodhouse. It looks very similar in branding to that. So, uh, 
as well with Zibbon. I think she's asking me, not you, because you wouldn't know. Um, I don't know, I might be. No, I don't think he is. We'll find out. Einstein's up next. So this is definitely a naughty one, because on their, uh, on their menu, I don't know if you can see that, it says cocktails, uh, Sunday to Thursday, two for 12. But apparently they've changed it, so it's now all day Monday, even though the menu there, it's definitely between five and seven on a Sunday. So there's two for 12 cocktails. So the menus are out, the offer's on, but the offer's not on. Because we just got charged £16. A bit naughty, that. So yeah, it's a bit naughty, isn't it? Having the, having the offers out and not, uh, not saying they're not on. To be fair to them, the, the staff, she sorted it out. Uh, we did get a refund on the original thing and then she charged the right amount according to the offer. Um, the staff did their best to sort it out. It's not their fault, it's just the owners need to sort of take a little bit of ownership, so to speak, on the offers that they display to customers and make sure that they're always on offer. Um, anyway, just a very short walk up the road. To where? Rosie O'Leary's. Rosie O'Leary's, which apparently has had some live music on till seven, but uh, it's now like five past seven, so we've missed it. Rosie O'Leary's, here we go. This is a proper banging little Irish pub, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely wicked little place. I love a good Irish pub anyway, but this is just, uh, yeah, this is just superb in here. Maybe we should make the popcorn to Ireland? What do you think? We're going to take it on honeymoon wherever we go anyway, so you know, might as well do Ireland. Let's do the lot, let's do the world. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Uh, brilliant little Irish pub that is. Uh, we love a good Irish pub. Uh, and that is that is a, a really, really good Irish pub. Uh, literally, but it's a kebab shop. What more could you need? <laughs> Irish pub, kebab shop, another pub. So our next stop, the Punch Bowl. This one's definitely like a late night venue. Like, uh, obviously big space to dance up. There's not a single item of furniture in it. Not one. Standing room only. Obviously gonna be a good one later on, you would have thought, though. Probably, uh, yeah, late night. Late night party vibe. Late night Sunday fun day place. So uh, apparently that one's going to open till two, as long as it's busy enough later. Uh, had a lot of uh, Ritzy's is a bar. We're crossing the road, uh, and we shouldn't be, because there's one just, uh, just there. So we're going to go back over this side and to uh, Ritzy's then. Well spotted, Holly. See, she's not just a pretty face and a big bum. Got my eagle eyes as well. She can spot a pub a mile away. Uh, yeah, apparently that's happened until two in there, the punch bar anyway. Apparently a little bit of rock in India, stuff like that. It's nice to see. Nice to see. So next up for us then, Ritz's. Yeah, this was a friendly little like, micro-pub type thing. Like a, um, a modern looking micro-pub, you know what I mean? Like it's uh, modern decor and stuff like that. But um, apparently in here, they do karaoke every single night. I might just stay here. Right, now, unless Holly spots anything else, it's over the road. To the Bluebell. To the Bluebell. Is that alright with you, Holly? Yeah. Yeah. Over the road then. So, literally that close. Yeah, cheap round, party, uh, party atmosphere, pub. Um, it's even the uh, it's still, it's still really early, it's still light outside. Um, plenty, of, uh, plenty of TV screen stuff around as well. Plenty of drinks offers. Feels like this is probably going to be the one where the, uh, the lift off of the party for uh, Chesterfield Sunday Fun Day comes in. One thing we've met is walking around here is there are a lot of kebab shops in uh, in Chesterfield. The question is, which is the best kebab shop in Chesterfield? Well, the best kebab shop in Chesterfield is the one over there that says Best Kebab. It's called Best Kebab. Does it mean it is the best? Well, of course it does. Otherwise, we wouldn't be allowed to call themselves Best Kebab, would they? Well, sometimes I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> right, this is going to be our last stop of the night. It's pub number 11 for a bank holiday Sunday night. Um, I'm still hanging slightly anyway, so final stop of the night is going to be the Rutland. Right, final stop of the night, we are doing the Rutlands. We bumped into Jimmy again. Hey. Jimmy's here. Boys, introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Jordan and Sam's around, but he doesn't want to be in the video. He's Sam, Sam, Sam well. Sam's run away, he doesn't want to be in the video. This is Holly. Holly's always in the video. This is a nice way to finish off. Nice rustic feeling, uh, rustic feeling boozer. Good way to finish off Chesterfield for the night. 
I was finished off hours ago. Like literally, I was finished. I was finished off before we got started, you know. But that is uh, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe. Blah blah blah. Yada yada. Um, cheers, Chesterfield. We'll see you soon.